What's up geeks and welcome back to Geeky Fight the channel where I show you some amazing tips tricks regarding Android and Windows and in today's video I'm going to tell you how you can run Android apps on Windows natively I'm not going to talk about any emulator like BlueStacks but I'm going to tell you how you can run officially Android apps on Windows so without wasting any time this is me Sameer you guys are watching Geeky Fight and let's start today's video So before we start downloading and installing Android apps on Windows system, we need to know what exact the basic system requirement is to run Android apps on Windows effectively. To check the system requirements, we need to go into the My Computer or the File Explorer. Just go over here, right click and select Properties. And over here, you can see the specification of your processor. The one spec we need to keep in mind is this 64-bit operating system it has to be 64 bit if it is 32 bit android apps won't work on this system and again one thing which you need to keep in mind is that you need to have an ssd no hdd but ssd m.2 would be better and lastly your system ram should be more than 8 gb 16 gb should be the ideal storage because the windows subsystem for android itself will consume more than 6 gb of ram so make sure you have more than 8 gb of ram on my system i have got 16 gb of ram so now once we have checked our system requirements let's move and turn on virtualization on your device and now once your system requirements meet we need to check that if the virtualization is enabled by BIOS or not. Over here, you can see virtualization is enabled through my BIOS. You can go into your device BIOS as the settings to boot into BIOS may vary according to your manufacturer. So once you have turned on the virtualization through going into the BIOS, now it's time that you turn it on using your Windows system. You need to open the start and search for turn windows feature on or off click on it so it will load up some options like this and make sure that you turn on virtual machine platform and windows hypervision platform once you have check marked it click on ok and your system will restart once we have restarted our device next thing we need to do is update our windows and its app and to do that you need to go into the settings of the system and from here select windows update and check for update so as you can see we have updated our windows 11 now we need to go into the microsoft store and check the native apps as well we'll go over here we'll open the microsoft store okay now from here go into the library and select get updates so as you can see we don't have any updates left our system is up to date so once we have updated our windows and all the apps present on our system now we need to find windows subsystem for android on our device and install it through microsoft store if that is not possible for some reason here is one site on which you can download it and i will give this site's link in the description okay so we have successfully installed windows subsystem for android and you need to launch it so as you can see we have launched it now one important setting which you need to do is go into the advance and make sure that you have turned on developer mode now you can just minimize it so after we have successfully installed windows subsystem for android now we need an app store and for that you can go with amazon app store from microsoft store and download it but for some other reason that store is not available on your country then my friend you can just download apk pure store it's easy all you have to do is just go to this site and i will give this site's link in the description as well download the store and just save the file now we need a software to install this apk file on our system and for that you need to go and open microsoft store and search for wsa tools select it and install it on your device once installed run it and as you can see right there will be an option of install an apk select it again it will ask you to install some drivers select install select a folder in which you want to install these drivers and i'm gonna install these over here 
making a new driver adp drivers new i'm gonna open this and install abd here and now it will be asking me to load an apk file and we have just downloaded apk power store in form of apk file which we'll gonna install select it and click on load apk and over here as you can see we need to click on install and allow of course and voila we have successfully installed our apk pure store we need to open it and as you can see these prompts are not from windows these prompts are from of course android we need to allow them yeah and i'm not gonna install any of them i might install messenger app so as you can see and i'm gonna install the light version allow and allow from this source go back install so we have successfully installed our messenger light app using apk pure store and we can directly open it from here and as you can see all i have to do is just log in with my facebook id and i will be good to go and one more thing if you are worried and thinking where all these app will be downloaded then my friends it will be in your windows subsystem for android as soon as you select apps option you can see all the apk installed on your device and you can remove them by clicking on three dot button app settings and uninstall it's that easy and that's it guys now you will be able to download apps directly from a particular app store or even if you want to install an apk file you can do that i'm sure you like this video if you did then make sure you like it and of course go into the comment section and write it down if you are facing any problems i will be there solving each and every issues you are facing while you are down there make sure you subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing content such like this where i tell you how you can run android apps on windows i know i know it is precious then why don't you just subscribe it and on this note this is me sameer signing off and i'm going to see you in the next one till the dada see ya bye bye